Welcome back to KSNT News. Thanks for being with us. You might have noticed that we were never entirely clear today, really, but the clouds were pretty high in altitude and very thin at that, and that didn't leave any problem with the sun breaking through, so it still felt like a pretty nice day. Now we are seeing some thicker high clouds work their way in, but not thick enough to really keep that sun out of the way. You can still see it on all of our weather cameras down in Emporia as well. Same thing going on in Lawrence as well as the capital city right now where you can really see that darker gray bit of cloud work its way in overhead. 45 degrees right now though in the capital city feeling more like 43. Really light breeze at 5 miles an hour. And that's about how high you need it to register any sort of wind chill. So not much of a wind chill at that right now in Topeka. 46 Burlington, 48 Emporia. You get the gist. Lots of 40s on the boards, but our northern counties really struggled to try to break out of the 30s today. 36 right now in Marysville and 37 in Hiawatha. Winds have generally been out of the north as well. That's why we stayed relatively cool, though still a nice day outside. Nine mile an hour winds in Emporia and eight in Burlington, seven Manhattan. And then just a five mile an hour breeze in Hiawatha, which is nice since it's chillier up to our north. Overnight, we'll see winds lighten up in partly cloudy skies, but still going to be a chilly start to the work week. Lows in the mid to low 20s, and then return to the 50s by the afternoon with some extra sunshine in the mix. Here's a look at the clouds that are starting to move in and that we'll kind of see overnight. Not expecting any of this rain from the system down toward Oklahoma to come into to play, but we are expecting some rain from this system off the west coast. And you notice you can see this lobe kind of start to close itself off as a circle. This will become a pretty potent system and bring a good deal of rainfall to us in northeast Kansas. Quite a soaker. We start to see Tuesday showers developing in the morning. Continue to see showers throughout the day on our Tuesday and even into Wednesday morning as well. Even more scattered showers across northeast Kansas. Heavy at times, especially late morning, early afternoon. Could get a few thunderstorms in the mix. Not looking at anything severe, but some heavier rain, lightning possible, maybe some gusty winds winds out of those heavier pockets and then some more showers as we work our way into the evening time frame. The last bit of the rain looks to wrap up on Thursday. Light rain shower possible, maybe even a flurry or two as the system makes its exit, but not looking at any accumulating snow out of this. We'll just simply be too warm and also we'll just be too wet on the ground. Through Tuesday we're looking at roughly anywhere from a quarter to a uh, full inch of rain and then once you add on the rest of it by the time we get through the day on Wednesday and into Thursday morning we're looking at widespread one to two inches some places could be a little bit higher two to three just going to kind of depend on where those heavier soaking uh, storms set up across northeast Kansas but despite the rain chances on Tuesday Wednesday and possibly on Thursday we're pretty warm leading up to it 60s on Wednesday that windy uh, word that I've got right there, that's a southerly wind and it's really going to be kicking up with that rain and bringing in more of that moisture and humidity and that's why we get so much higher up temperature wise. Now Thursday you notice we're back in the 40s, that's because the cold front is going to come through. Now we get to deal with northerly winds, they're going to clear clouds out into the weekend but also cool us down just a notch but we should be back near 50 by Sunday.